So good morning, here we are shipmates, welcome aboard our final day, day number four. Now I will apologise if you've been following the vlog because I've not been totally super awesome. My, I tell you what, my original plan was to make this video and to kickstart the channel and we're going to start doing updates on all cruises. This was just like a, a premiere, something to boost everybody's morale, get everybody interested. And I tell you what I've been doing is, I've just been busy enjoying myself. It's been such a, such a good cruise, it's been really, really good. So this is the final day, uh, I'm not terribly sure what the plan is for today. We did quite a lot, we were doing a food day, and we are doing a sports day. So today is probably just going to be, uh, dare I do a tour of the ship? No, I said I wouldn't do a tour of the ship, I might do a tour of the ship. But what I can say, it's been wonderful. And I do apologise, it's not been how I wanted to do. My idea was to, I bought my computer, we're going to update it daily, I was going to edit the videos and put them straight out. But unfortunately, I ran into delays. I've had some serious problems. I've been having a really, really good time. <laughs> and I tell you what, that's the key to it all, having a good time. So today is the final day, I'll probably do a bit of a tour, and then I'll give you a rundown of the essentials you need to know before you come on the Britannia post Freedom Day. So, let's stop bashing, let's stop. Let's go for breakfast. So don't forget, you're gonna need to wear your mask whilst on board and walking around. Here we are. Morning, you okay? At the buffet on Horizon Day. So, let me show you the buffet. You can eat outside as well. It's been gorgeous, look at this. So you can just get your food in quite here, enjoy the sunshine and happiness. There's tables marked out, obviously you can't use, so you have to skip those and use opposite ones. But yeah, Let's see if I can show you some food. So like I say, here we are on Horizon Deck. I'm gonna try and show you some food now. So we'll walk back in. So here we are, look at all this wonderful food. So the buffet works like before, and the young lady gives you a plate, or gentleman, then you walk around and go, hey, feed me, give me some food. And then they'll give you lots and lots of food, and you can have as much as you want. But yeah, nothing's changed buffet-wise, it's just the same, but rather than you having to put it on your plate, these wonderful staff now assist you to put it onto your plate, so it's absolutely fantastic. But uh, yeah, let's have some wonderful breakfast. Start the day. So here we go, look what I've got. Very nice coffee. Hash browns, these sausages are really nice. And of course, a beautiful view, not you, not my dad. That, beautiful. So here we go. So nothing much has changed, you just present your plate to them and then they come and give you what you want. So if anything, it's actually better than it was before. But you do have to book to get into the buffet, where previously you never had to book to get into the buffet. So that bit's changed, but we'll go over the bits later that have changed since uh, Freedom Day and the return of cruising. But until then, you yeah, enjoy my breakfast. So here we are, final day, up on deck. Enjoying the sun. So, what do we need to know about being on deck? Like I said before, you need to try and get up early because there's like, there's the sun loungers, there's enough around the boat, but if you want like a key slot around here, as you can see, there's loads of people saving them. Now, I'm not a massive fan of saving sun loungers, but if you want to save a sun lounger, that's what they're doing here. So, there we go. Hot tubs, two on the boat, port, starboard, uh, you're only allowed two people in or as many as you can from your own group. So there is a bit of a queuing situation, which is very unorganized. So uh, you wanna get there early as well. So what we're looking at today, this is the wonderful Cornish coastal line. We hear a lot of wind now. Excellent visibility today, makes a change. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, top deck here, number 17. I tell you what, this has been an absolutely fantastic holiday. I, I was a bit nervous, I won't lie to you. I'm kind of used to Royal Caribbean and a bit more of a party ship. So I was nervous when I booked this particular vessel, but I tell you what, it's turned out to be absolutely fantastic. I met lots of wonderful people along my journeys. 
lots of chats, conversations. It's good to get back to cruising with your fellow cruisers and new cruisers as well. It's great, absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna enjoy some sunshine. And look at this view. I've missed you. I've missed the cruise life. <laughs> so I think I probably need to give up my cruise reviews channel because every time I'm meant to be doing something, I just end up relaxing, <laughs> having a wonderful time. So this is the Cornish coastline. I actually went there with my girlfriend recently. It's uh, extremely nice. And what's nice is actually viewing it from this angle as opposed to viewing it from that angle, if that makes sense. And I tell you what, viewing it from a hot tub aboard the wonderful splendid Britannia. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's a win-win for me. I won't lie to you, viewers. This is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful coastline, hot tub. I will get back to doing some proper reviewing one day, I promise you. No rush though, no rush just yet. So here we are on the Lido deck. This is where you can get your burgers. The drinks are currently all served by waiters, so there's no going to the bar. Excuse the shaky hand, I'm trying to do two stuff at once. But yeah, it's a really nice day today. They just told us we're about to run into some rain, so we'll see how bad it is. But this is our final day, as I said before. That's where you get the stuff for the uh, activities like we did yesterday. Very poor description that was, but never mind. But yeah, it's been beautiful. Absolutely fantastic, yeah. Uh, pizza on the left. Lido grill on the right. There's a toilet, by the way. If you want a toilet, you walk to the end, there's a toilet there. You can't sit at the bar at the moment, but it, there's waiters going around. You get waiter service. Towels are underneath both staircases. It's a good setup. I think if you're coming on board, you really will enjoy it. It's more of a traditional kind of cruising experience, but I think you'll really, really enjoy it. But I think here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. And we're going to see a lot of people run in a second. Let's see what happens. So here we are in the main atrium. There's several things in the main atrium. We've got the glass house over here and the coffee shop over here. And this gentleman's playing some live music. There's not been that much live music uh, going on board. I'm honest with you, but it's nice to see that we've finally got some live music on board. If I sound slightly muted, it's because I'm wearing my mask, because it's still mandatory to wear your mask whilst moving around the vessel. But it's all very nice. As you can see, the dynamics of the ship's changed. Now the, uh, the weather's against us. And we're going to explore further and hopefully find somewhere to have a drink. But it is a beautiful atrium. What you'll find is on the old celebration night, the old formal night, as it's been called. People will gather here and speak to the captain, have a champagne, and enjoy it. Well, we finally made it. Look at that. Lovely pint of Stella Artois. Other beers are available. Four pounds and five. I'll tell you what, they've made them as well. We'll get a copy of the drinks menu. Show how much everything costs. So if you do fancy yourself a quick game of bingo, that's it. 50, uh, 15 pounds for the tickets, two pounds for the dabber. It is an official PL dabber. Could be worth <coughs> could be worth a bit in the couple of coming years. But yeah, so £17 in total for six tickets of bingo. What do you win? We don't know yet. You don't know what you win? No. You do get more than one game, which is good. Actually. It's four, four games, I think. Why not? Why not? It's gone. No, it's... Oh, oh. Five games oh must, must be a flyer. One game. Two games, three games, four games. So five games and the extra one. What's the extra one for? No idea. All right. Okay. But yeah. So if you want to say part of the bingo, it's fifteen pounds. So I'll take you in the theatre now. Currently on here is Casablanca. 
one of my favourite shows actually, or movies should I say. So this is the theatre, as you can see plenty of seats, some with little blue things on there so I have to separate them. But it's a nice theatre, definitely. As I said though, everything needs to be pre-booked, even to watch Casablanca. Actually, actually it's a free book but as you can see there there was plenty of seats available but in the evening you definitely need to pre-book so one thing I will tell you you do have to book to go to see all the shows but it doesn't guarantee where you sit what I noticed when I booked mine it gave me a seat B31, 33, something like that but when you come there it's first come first serve so you will have to make sure if you want a particular seat or a good seat to get there early wobbly today aren't I? <laughs> they're in pint size now we're back to being focused uh, and it's the American pint not the British pint so that's 500 milliliters they also have beers and ciders as you can see there wine spirits move it over big selection of spirits there cocktails of course and on the back We've got soft drinks, soft cocktails, and of course, the snacks. So a large selection available from here. This is the My watch is two minutes fast. 12 o'clock noon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy the facilities on board Britannia on this scenic coastal cruise. Since our departure from Southampton until noon today, Britannia has steamed a total distance of 690 bottles. Ahoy. So, wasn't quite the day we had planned, but once again, another marvellous day out here on the Britannia. I won't lie to you, it's been absolutely fantastic. But unfortunately, this is our last day, and I've had such a wonderful time. I just thought it was absolutely fantastic. So what point would I like to emphasise? If you've watched the full series of this vlog, do you need to remember? Well, first of all, remember, there's lots of free and fun activities you can do on board. Just always ask and always check the calendar as well and see what's on the schedule. I would also remind people that when you do come to it's raining, when you do come to get on board, it is a slight long-winded process. So bear in mind you may want to go to the toilet or you might want to have a drink or something like that, just so you're prepared for the rest of it. What else would I say? Ooh, yeah, activities, shows, entertainment dining all going to be booked so make sure you book as soon as possible otherwise you may find that there's not enough room for you and that could really d dishearten certain people so when you can book 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 some of those are available online right now so if you've got your cruise planner get in there and get those booked ASAP so really that concludes our little adventure Hope you've enjoyed coming along with us. I know I've enjoyed making this actually, it's been really good. I wasn't terribly sure about if I was going to enjoy being on the Britannia, and I can honestly say I've had a wonderful time. So on behalf of me, and behalf of him, Dad. Thank you everybody. You can enjoy yourselves. <laughs> We're going to say thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye shipmates, bye bye.